So I'm here um, with my mom, Jean Lee, and um, we're going to be talking about Dundee, which is a, a river port city um, in Scotland, in the east uh, coast of Scotland. And uh, yeah, I want to hear her ideas about changes um, that have really impacted how Dundee has developed. Well, you said there that it's a river port, and it's a river port at a very wide estuary that then serves straight into the North Sea. And if you if you keep heading east, then you'll you'll come to the Baltic countries, and if you head a wee bit south, you'll come to the Netherlands. And that's how Dundee grew as a medieval merchant city. I mean, the hinterland of of Dundee has very um, wealthy farmland. So we were well positioned to have a, a big port and then take our goods elsewhere. The other thing about the port is that it's, it's a deep draft port, which means that as the, the ships got bigger and the demands of a port grew, then we actually had the depth that we could grow with it. And as the, the wealth grew and the, the links with other countries grew and through you know uh, Great Britain colonizing, that also allowed Dundee to grow and spread and um, there the grew links with India. And we built a lot of the machinery in, in Dundee because of the, the ship building. We, uh, the, there was a strong trend there in engineering in Dundee, which moved into machine building, which then grew into building machines that would uh, work with Jute. Because we built ships, we then were involved in the whaling industry. So we were building strong ships that would take the whalers from Dundee up to Greenland. And one of the things that was found that was that whale oil, which the, there wasn't an awful lot, there was a lot, a lot of use for it, but there was one of the products of, of whale oil which they didn't have much use for. And then it was discovered that if, that if you added the whale oil in a certain you know, like proportion to raw jute, you, you made it more easily um, spun and woven. And so Dundee then developed into uh, uh, developing a huge jute industry. That jute industry was absolutely massive. And it, alongside the jute industry, it was growing the shipbuilding industry. So we had the shipbuilding industry, we had the jute industry. And they were growing side by side and creating an enormous amounts of wealth. But also um, Dundee was close to St Andrews. But um, St Andrews was one of the first uh, universities established in Europe. And part of St Andrews University was actually developed in the city of Dundee. So the campus was in, in two places. And that meant that there was then a, a growing association in, in Dundee with education. So there was always that pool of people who were educated to quite a high level. And Dundee then developed other skills in terms of uh, an art college, which you know was up to degree level, and, and then a technology, technology institute, which had, of course, to do with all the technology to do with producing weaving machines, spinning machines, but because we had this, you know, the wealth that was allowing people to do different things, we then got a, a publishing company, which inv was involved with, obviously, people, uh, journalistic skills. Um, again, the, the publishing skills were to do with technology. And, and because of the technology and the skills of the people, as the technology changed and became smaller and it moved from heavy engineering to light engineering, there was a huge pool of of skilled workers in Dundee. And so NCR and Timex moved into Dundee because people had dexterous skills with small technology. That same dexterity could then be applied to building digital circuit boards. And then that developed into the building of computers in Dundee and the ZX Spectrum. But it meant that the people of Dundee would then had access to these computers that they could take home and play on and do different things. And out of that, people then learned stuff about these computers and that then moved into people developing games. And the, the digital gaming world started in Dundee. Um, Lemmings, Grand Theft Auto came out of Dundee. So the, the Dundee digital side of things that became linked more with the creative side within Dundee. And that's kind of the way Dundee has gone. It's gone more into creative industries now. And 
education is there also still a huge employer in Dundee. What, what would the, you say about um, the, <clears throat> the changes with the port and um, maybe what Dundee lost out on where other cities gained in the yeah, world? Yeah, well, well we've, we've, we've lost out on a lot of things. We've lost out on the shipping industry. That was shut down during Thatcher's time. Um, I can remember the harbour being absolutely full of fishing boats when I was young. Um, and that stopped. That all moved up the coast and, and the fishing um, was centralised again. It was all political stuff going on. Some of that was to do with the EC and the EU, but a lot of it was to do with um, sort of political machination. So we missed out on that. The other big thing, that the other biggie that we missed out on was the oil industry. And that all went to Aberdeen, basically. But now that the... Um, because we still had, you know, obviously we've still got the port with the deep draft. Dundee has actually now got involved in the decommissioning of oil rigs and we're becoming a centre of excellence for that. Um, so the, the big rigs are brought here to be sometimes refurbished and repaired, but also to, to be decommissioned. And I think the move in Scotland is to open up the ports and the, the ports that will be opened up mainly will be on the east coast. Okay, well, okay, thank you, Mum. Thank you, and everyone's welcome and done. <laughs>